Mr. McKenzie. Please forgive me for intruding, Ms. Allison. Oh. It's got to be a very, very hard time for you. Well, would you like some coffee? No, thank you, ma'am. Oh, something stronger? No, I'm fine. No, oh, all right, please. Thank you. We're never prepared for things like this, are we? Murder. It happens to other people. People we don't know. I still expect Ryan to come through that door. Yes, ma'am. As friends and colleagues. It's so wonderful to me. They've sent letters and cards. And stopped by to see me. I've given each one of them something to Ryan's to remember him by. Well, uh, wasn't that thoughtful? How can you defend Karen Richards? I know who you are and I know what people say about you. I thought you were an honorable man. I'm a particular man, Mrs. Allison, and a fortunate one. I'm not obliged to defend anybody that I don't believe to be innocent. Karen Richards is innocent. Why did you come here? I need to ask you a few questions, and uh, you don't have to respond, of course, but I thought maybe the answers might come easier here in the comfort of your home than in court. Questions? The night your husband was killed, can you tell me what you did and saw? I went to Ryan's office, and I was with him from 9.30 to just before 10. When did you see Miss Richards? As I was driving away from the State House. From the parking lot? Yes. Well, you must have got a good look at her. That lot's very brightly lit. That's right. Well, how come you saw her and she didn't see you? Maybe she was so intent on killing my husband, she didn't notice.